Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch sci-fi genre movie called Outside the Wire. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. In 2036, a civil war erupted in Ukraine between Russian insurgents led by a criminal warlord named Viktor Koval and local resistance. On their first mission, US troops are stationed as peacekeepers on this lawless new frontier. The insurgents ambush American soldiers, who are aided by robotic soldiers known as GUM. They are outnumbered and cornered, and the GUMs can be easily destroyed while the field soldiers struggle to escape. Lieutenant Harp, a drone pilot, notices an unknown vehicle approaching the soldiers and reports it to Miller. Seeing it as a threat, he requests permission to launch a missile, but Miller refuses because two of his men are still trapped. Harp then requests that his partner Vale confirm the airstrike with Captain Brighton, but the request is also denied. Harp, on the other hand disobeys his superiors and launches the missile alone at the vehicle. As a result, two of Miller's men cannot be saved, which enraged Miller. Despite the fact that he saves the other 38 soldiers, his act of disobedience, a direct order, sends him to Camp Nathaniel, a U.S. military base in Ukraine. Hurt is greeted by Colonel Eckhart, who informs him that if he survives the mission, he will be returned to the Air Force. However, if he dies, his story will serve as a warning to other pilots not to disobey and violate he then arrives at a building that houses dumps. Captain Leo, Harp's superior in camp, finally meets him. Nathaniel Leo reveals Harp's stellar military record and exposes Harp's impending marriage. Leo immediately assigns Harp a mission, instructing him to assist the captain in delivering vaccines to a clinic where there is a cholera outbreak. After signing the agreement, Leo tells a story about Victor Cole, the man responsible for a bomb that killed over 25,000 people in Ukraine. He goes on to say that Victor intends to travel to the systemic perimeter, where Russia's nuclear bomb is stored, and use it to kill a large number of people. As a result, Leo assigns the pilot an additional mission, to hunt Victor while preparing Herp, who is taken aback by the fact that Captain Leo is actually an android super. Before leaving, the captain explains that he chose the Harp on purpose because the boy can think outside the box. Miller and his men confront Harp, punishing him for killing two of his soldiers earlier, but this does not last long. Harp shows his girl's picture to his superior as the captain arrives and they depart for the clinic. It turns out that the robot soldier still has some sense of humor installed within him. Their journey is hampered when they discover that an air truck has been hit and has blocked the road. The civilians are fed up with the army and have thrown them out. One of them collides with the gum, causing it to fire the thrower. The situation quickly escalates, but Leo manages to calm the civilians down after negotiating with their leader. Unfortunately, Victor's man ambushes the army, and they then engage in a gunfight. The insurgents are ready because they can easily eliminate the gumps. As a result, Leo and Harp must travel on foot to deliver the vaccines, while Miller and his soldiers remain behind to guard. Victor, they're on their way. Leo explains to Harp that the Pentagon designed his face in that manner because it conveys neutrality, which calms people. They arrive at the refugee camp and proceed to the clinic, where they hand over the vaccines to the doctor. A sniper sent by Victor tries to kill Leo and Harp, but misses and hits the nurse and doctor instead. Instead, the captain shoots the sniper and interrogates him, forcing him to reveal Victor's location, but he refuses and is tortured by the local. Harp inquiries, Leo's decision not to report the situation to the base, but Leo says they don't have enough time, so they continue their journey in the truck to find Victor. Leo explains that he has the ability to break rules under certain conditions, allowing him to act freely. They then meet Sophia, a resistance leader who informs Leo of highly classified access codes to launch nuclear missiles hidden nearby. They realize Victor is after the codes and that they must intervene. Sophia tells them to find an armed dealer who knows where the codes are before they leave. The men buy several weapons from her, and she claims that the proceeds will go to the orphanage. Sophia leads them to the market, where they discover Olak. His men attempt to attack Leo, but he easily defeats them. The armed dealer tries to flee, but is pursued and eventually captured by Leo, leaving him with no choice. Olak is leaking. The code's location, which is in a nearby bank. They rush to the bank, while Sophia assassinates the armed dealer for being a traitor. Upon arrival, the captain instructs Har to remove a tracker from his body in order to avoid detection by the Russian. They rush inside the bank, believing Victor is inside. Leo instructs Harp to contact Ekkar. Following that, Leo engages in a gunfight with Victor's man, while Harp attempts to assist the hostages in escaping. A killer robot appears a few moments later and attempts to murder Leo. They successfully destroy the robot as a result of their collaboration. Leo continues his search for Victor and the code. Harp finally calls Eckhart for help, and the rookie brings the hostages out. He is perplexed, however, when he discovers that Eckhart has sent gums instead of human soldiers. Shortly afterwards, the Russians emerge from the bank and threaten to kill the hostages. A gump then shoots one of them, resulting in a gunfight. 
Harp attempts to protect the remaining hostages by transporting them to a safer location. Harp calls the colonel back only to discover that he is sending a drone and intends to destroy the entire facility with a missile from the other side. Leo notices a man attempting to flee after taking He shoots him, but the insurgent manages to flee after a lengthy pursuit. Leo eventually apprehends him and obtains the code. Unfortunately, the man is not Victor, who has returned to Harp. The missile is launched, completely destroying the bank. At this point, Eckhart believes that the missile has killed both Leo and Victor. The men reassemble and drive away. They're on their way. Harp is suspicious of Leo's true motivations and questions him, what he's really doing. The captain then reveals that he has been manipulating the Harp the entire time, forcing him to make bad decisions because the Android backup system allows him to forgo the need for human authority if the person is making bad decisions. As a result, the Harp is no longer able to command him. He then knocks Harp out and abandons him on the side of the road, where he is picked up by Sophia. Leo goes to meet with Victor, revealing that they have been working together all along. Leo has no choice but to kill Victor because he refuses to reveal the location of the perimeter where the nuclear missile is kept. He eliminates all of Victor's men before impaling Victor to death. He then obtains the location and proceeds to the opposite side. Sophia reveals the peacekeeping mission's hidden agenda. The pilot finally realizes Leo is going to launch the missile at us. Sophia lets him go, and Hart brushes back to the ground. He then tells Eckhart and Miller everything he knows about Leo, telling them that he is still alive and on his way to the missile location. They believe he is in Harp and immediately call Bale to find Leo. She locates him, but he is in disputed territory near the Russian border, where the colonel cannot deploy an army. Harp then offers to chase him down. Miller gives him a weapon that is effective against Leo before leaving. He eventually arrives at the bomb storage silo and sneaks in while Leo is assembling the device and installing it on the missile. When Harper enters the room, he is spotted by Leo, who strangles him until he passes out. The countdown begins as Leo continues the installation. Harp awakens and shoots his captain mercilessly with a given weapon until he falls. It is successful in breaking Leo's body. The android finally reveals his true intentions, stating that he wishes to attack America in order to bring down the AI or cyborg program that created him. He intends to do so in order to keep the country from fighting more destructive wars in the future, as robot soldiers such as Gums are the face of never-ending war. Harp then reports back to the base and gives the go-ahead to launch the, the silo and the nuclear missile are completely destroyed. But Harp manages to escape and, at the end of the film, Eckhart will send him back to the Air Force and tell him that he is a hero. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.